Okay, I don't know about Oscar winning. What? A theater. They got a theater to show this. Generic control in the deck goes me. We're back with another video, and today we're doing another What Happened video, and it's going to be about The Room, which is, I believe, made by Tommy Wiz. So, I think I reacted to Nostalgia Critic covering The Room, and it is certainly a movie of all time, and we're going to get a little, like, peek behind the scenes that Matt has dug up talking about what happened, and we'll explain why the movie is the way that it is, and I really look forward to that. You want to check out my reaction to the last What Happened video I did, which was Dragon Ball Evolution, which... It makes a lot of sense now. I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. And maybe I'll make a What Happened playlist on my channel in case you want to binge watch any of those. Shout out to the patrons because none of this would be possible was not for them. $3 a month to get you all my reaction videos a day early. I'm completely against paywalls and I'm here to make small, not make you pay. So I do read every single one of your comments. Leave them down below whether you're a patron or not, whether you're subscribed or not. But I hope you are subscribed to some of the future videos. And also, likes are super, super important. But uh, the top link down below in the description is, of course, going to be the original video if you want to see the video that full screen and without me talking about bunch you could definitely do that also apparently this is a song from hamilton and now i know approximately one song from hamilton so that's that but this is gonna be the room tommy was so it's gonna be quite interesting uh what is that oh hi mark or whatever he said i don't know let's go ahead and jump on into it all right what happened to the room yeah tommy was so which this is gonna be also is i can't this is like the new intro right like right Right? Why is he a skeleton, by the way? You are lying. I never hit you. You are tearing me apart, Lisa. I completely forgot Nobody about that one. was to know at the time, but this scene, this scene right here, would go on to change the history of modern movie making across the world. Did it actually? Yeah, not really. Oh, okay. Hello, that makes once sense. once again, and welcome to another awkward, stilted, and incomprehensible episode of What Happened, the show that was it's literally so made enjoyable. to discuss the 2003 motion picture, I was six. The Room. And I finally got around to doing it. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> How do you even you find? Must be kidding, aren't you? What was How do you find a dark what went wrong secret here? secret nestled deep into Hollywood's bosom exploded into a cult film phenomenon the likes of You're which we won't see again for a long, long time. But its origins are just as bizarre as the movie itself. It was it's a, a success. It's a tale that involves mysterious mountains of money, most of it wasted. Lots wasted. of hirings, firings, and an agonizing stretch of production that pushed many to their breaking points. Why? So grab a slice of pizza it's not like it was that in of choice the and your it least what? embarrassing underwears. It's time like, to it... find out what happened what? with the I feel room. like it wasn't a very demanding <sighs> movie. Film wise. You obviously can't discuss this monumental milestone of movie magic without talking about its enigmatic writer slash director slash mad scientist Tommy Wiseau. And main character, man right? Of cloudy origins and even cloudier financial backing. He and fellow Hollywood hopeful Greg Sestero met in an acting him. class in San Francisco. And despite oh, really? took bizarre those. behavior, cadence, and acting, <coughs> ability, Greg nevertheless felt drawn to Tommy, feeling he was very much an underdog just like himself. After uh, they struck up a friendship, they both then moved to Los Angeles. To, to be fair, I do know people that are like that, success like, a reality. While Greg people that are very different, that are like doing something, for any I do know that. Could, Tommy I, I've, I've seen people like that, I'm just like, this person's Knowing a genius. Knowing it would be unlikely he would ever get cast in the type of roles he wanted, the leading man, he opted to weave in, his in own story and I get that Top Gun. made. Come hell or high water. The room would focus on a bank employee named Johnny, his wife Johnny Lisa, Tommy. and their tumultuous, confusing relationship. It would also feature drug deals, birthday parties, playing catch, trying on touches, atomic bombs, playing catch, weed more powered catching. rages, and finally, more playing, playing catch. catch. Yeah. Tommy first envisioned the story as a play and wrote it as such, which is why there's so few locations, as it all primarily uh, takes place in Tommy, I, I mean Johnny's apartment. Yeah. 
Perhaps not knowing how to actually get a live play off the ground, he then decided how do to you do that? the room <laughs> into a 500-page novel. That's that's 500 pages. Where did it all go? This original Wait, really? encompassed a lot more really bizarre additional storylines that the filming? movie, thankfully or unthankfully, depending Unthank. on who you talk to, did not include. Once like... he had completed this magnum opus, Tommy sent out the manuscript to various other stuff, didn't he? publishers, but, try to be shocked here, was rejected by each and every one. How many did he With do? With this latest setback, Mr. Wiseau finally realized if he wanted to get this done, he would have to do it himself. Since he lived in LA, it would be I mean, technically possible hand, to just push ups, hire like... a crew, rent a studio space. Yeah, there's always people looking for work out there. To you go to LA, you'll find room people. With him as director, which he would kind of need to do anyway, as all the movie studios he submitted his script to all enthusiastically in said no. How, did, how do we know it's enthusiastically? Or are we just kind of like script filling in the gaps here? one to two weeks <laughs> to determine if it could be tweaked or readapted into something else, etc. But like so many other things, the room managed yet another first. Its what? script was rejected in less than 24 hours. So, with the traditional studio they, system, very they much heard out, the name Tommy and would just have to nope. opt for more independent methods to get this thing made. The hell, some of the most beloved films of all time were made outside that studio system, so there's no reason wait, why Tommy well, couldn't wait, what do was that? Same. All it would cost is more money. That was it. Ah, yes, the was... money. This oh. is one aspect of the story that no one really I mean, has a there was one movie I recognized to, there. except for the man I mean, get himself. Out. The entirety of the room's budget was covered by our charismatic main character, and when questioned Why? by Greg back then, or even if asked today, all Tommy would say is that he made his money through property investments and importing leather jackets from Korea, but always stopped huh? short of ever actually offering proof of either. But the point uh, was, I, 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 that do he we had really the need to burn. the proof? In the grand or, scheme, um, yeah, things, he had it's it. Really, I, only Tommy's and business. He employed people to make this movie, so. From. With his mind set, Tommy then begged Greg to star in the film as Johnny's friend Mark, the good-natured but oh, nevertheless hi, traitorous character who would have multiple affairs with Lisa. D I, I mean, spoilers! Oh no, Greg spoilers. Greg rebuffed these offers every single time until Tommy had worn him down enough to accept an off-camera line producer credit, however begrudgingly. Okay. Greg had already read Tommy's script, you see. Uh, he knew what was coming. Where did I get, like, some of these films don't seem like they're filmed. Like, from the room, Filming right? began in the summer of 2002. One of Tommy's favorite sayings was, Real Hollywood movie, no Mickey Mouse stuff. Man, which was him very Mickey wanting Mouse stuff. to use top of the line, well, everything. Even if he didn't understand what that how it, meant. He didn't know how to one of those take things advantage of the things. He just wanted the most expensive thing. Between 35 okay. millimeter and HD digital film. So he decided to buy, not rent, but buy cameras that could shoot both. He explained to the crew that the room would be the first movie to be shot on 35 millimeter and HD simultaneously. Now, uh, there's absolutely no I, reason to have done, done this as it was oh. a colossal waste of money and time, but it was just what? something. Did he hope that he would make a sequel or something? Do. So they would need two separate camera crews working at the same time and a special custom rig that would hook both cameras together so they could be used in Hey, tandem. you know, they're inventing this new things, okay? This would require far more time to set up and operate oh, well. before and after each shot, easily multiplying the time it would take to film literally anything. Oh, oh and uh, one final note on this. The film's original edit was all done what? on the 35 millimeter version anyway, thus so making what? that HD camera I really don't know the waste I really <laughs> don't know so Tommy oh hi Mark oh, the hi, casting Mark. process also didn't go smoothly as dozens of desperate like a, actors like a, yeah. and actresses vying for any work they could get wound up like I said, answering the casting call a good call the room. Of Tommy's so this first has to be like a meme or something about the room, right? lasted long enough to be featured in the final cut as he fired them only a few days into filming so they were replaced by their understudies, with Juliet Danielle filling the role of Lisa. Anything for my princess. <laughs>
Mark was also going to be played by someone else, but again, Tommy fired him once production began. While there uh, could be a good reason uh, for this that we're not aware of, it still uh, what, allowed uh, Tommy to the put Greg in a difficult position. With cameras already rolling and I really wonder what his friend was thinking. Principal character, Tommy what Greg was once thinking. again asked him to take on the role, and with no immediate jobs on the horizon and wanting to get this whole thing over with, Greg finally he just gave reluctantly in. agreed. That's not good. That's not what friends do. Once the like... cast was locked in and filming began in earnest, the room needed to change. Like, like a, like a lot. Like the room or As the actual room that they were in. Before, the novel had 500 pages of befuddling content, and a good portion of that transferred Is... over to the script, but would never actually be filmed. Most of uh -huh. these on-the-day revisions came from on, supervisor on the day. Sandy Chaclair, whose job it was oh, to make okay. sense of Tommy's script. Is that he would often edit dialogue like or Rogen? offer changes whenever Tommy was in a Wait, suggestible mood. I thought I saw James Franco. Aren't James Franco and Seth Rogen friends? Sandy is often credited as the one is this who a parody about the room? room into something approaching a normal film, which, considering the end product... What kind of drugs do you take? It's nothing like that. It reminds me of this Simon Tinder Girl Life video. Only what kind of drugs? Left on the cutting room floor. Oh, Harry the is so funny. I know Harry didn't say that, but... Plots, but none more wiseo esque than it being revealed Johnny was a vampire and owned a flying car. But that wasn't all. I mean... Though. Throughout the movie's running time, you saw several characters appear and events transpire seemingly at random and often with little explanation. This is because Just, of all the revisions is, well, who does that? that Sandy, Greg, and others who, were able no, to No, no, we don't do that. Into. The boys, no, One we... The other big we, change that wasn't due to any of that was the character of Peter, the psychologist, a satellite friend to Mark and Johnny who disappears from the film altogether. The oh, actor, okay. fed well. up with Wiseau's on-set behavior and obviously the material... Mm. That's it, I'm done. Declared he just walked away. Acting gig lined up. Did he? And if the room wasn't finished by then, he would simply walk off the set, which is exactly what he did. The wow. movie never so he just acknowledges gone. his absence, so his lines are simply given to someone else. This magnificent bastard right here. Whoa. I feel like I'm sitting on an atomic bomb waiting for it to go off. Me too. The filming dragged uh, on and on, during which oh, Tommy would like 60 days, right? much of the cast and crew rather poorly, regularly admonishing them for their performances and forgetting to spring for things like uh, water or cooling solutions during the sweltering LA summer. Uh, uh, Most of the cast and crew had just few so other baffling. avenues for work at that time, and they needed Tommy to keep signing checks so they could just cover their rent. Staff retention on the room okay, was whatever that was, there are some actors in there I recognize. Hollywood pictures combined because while there were several walkouts most on the crew just figured that the production would wrap soon enough but unfortunately that was how not long soon did it take enough. While the HD 35mm camera Unculus was bad okay, enough Unculus. in terms of a time sink, Tommy had several scenes shot twice for no Why? reason. Particular bits of the movie that took place on the roof were shot again months later okay. in the months alleyway later? set, despite them filming in a real alleyway earlier. Tommy had the crew construct this fake set for... I, well, I don't I, know they why, were, uh, because it would have been so much cheaper just to and go easier back. to just reuse the alley location from earlier. When it they were like completely fine reusing the scenes a bunch of times. Balloon out of control, both in terms of time, but especially yeah, that's James Franco. in terms of money. How much exactly? Well, to the tune of about six million dollars. Can you name uh, another movie that cost that much? Well, no, I, I couldn't. The Terminator. Terminator cost six million dollars. The, the Terminator. I've never seen it, but the I know it's very successful. Filming being a particularly stressful and trying time between him and Tommy, because while he knew Tommy as friendly. pleasant and generous in most situations, his personality degraded as the film wore on. To prep for the role, Tommy had lost a lot of weight and would regularly show up on shoot days hours behind oh schedule and under the influence of something. 
To get through most of these rougher days, he would down a combination of energy drinks and pills and would sometimes even break down into brief bouts of delirium. One delirium? One of the most famous examples of this I break down in tears, but that's fine. three hours and 32 combined takes for the crew to shoot this mere seven seconds of film. Seven seconds? It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Yeah, like <laughs> Tommy kept messing up the lines for forgetting. Because that's not Tommy. That's James Franco, right? Order, just oh wait, or is that? Could have gone There's two wrong, Francos, right? Did. There's two Franco brothers. There's James Franco, All and then there's must come to an end. What is his name? I know there's another so one. So did the filming of the room. I'm only familiar with him for what the interview and the Hoodie the Allen the song. Summer, Tommy, Greg, and a small crew still had to shoot a lot of B-roll for establishing shots, since the movie took place in San Francisco. They would drive back mm. up to the city where the duo first met and stayed for several more weeks, capturing these timeless scenes that have since been burned into many a brain. Greg recalled in his book, The Disaster Artist, that during wait, the, this is trip, that the, is that the wait. recording way is more room role than they would ever need and felt that this was Tommy simply not wanting this to end, that he was uh, dragging out the process. Oh, uh, that he didn't want them. Further. Okay, that Why? makes sense. He, well, it could I guess he just enjoyed it. Or... Tommy was aware that the room was going to be an unintelligible mess, uh, that he had a fear of failure despite his outside bravado. Or peace simply does not want this is movie Jared, making could that be Jared Leto as well? I don't, ever end. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All of the above. Once the B-roll was shot, Tommy and Greg There's two Franco spoke, brothers. As Greg wanted to put this whole ordeal behind him and One of them try to focus on his future as best he could. So Greg needed to play catch up trying to get his career back on track and had all but forgotten about the room for months. During months which later. he was being stitched together like Frankenstein's monster in a dark editing room somewhere. Eventually, Tommy finally reached out to Greg and said uh, it was on. A oh, theater really? Was going to be showing the a room. theater. They a got a theater to show this. The premiere citation needed. Tommy even took the room, out an ad a on a notable Hollywood billboard, which, due to everything about it, convinced many the room. that the Looks room like was room. some type of horror film. And while it wasn't, this image at least That's gave very many weird. children a hearty and lasting nightmare. Estimations for the price of this ad has varied, but I this apparently cost Tommy about $5,000 a month and remains okay. standing for five years. So that's like 5K to that's, months for five years. See, this that's what, 60 uh, grand a year? The 300,000? $300, yeah. $300, as for its um, for theatrical a run, the single theater Tommy could it's get to show it only five did years? so for about a week, in which it accrued a whopping $1,900. The theater also took the opportunity to erect a sign that said, no refunds. In most circumstances, this is where this story should end. But in 2009, uh, six years after like, its completion, you know, a room. Adult Swim like, played just, the room all they, day on loop as part of their April Fool's festivities, and it's that really is hilarious. Here where room awareness exploded, and then it blew up into a cult and film, and oh my! Endorsing it, people began holding viewing parties, and before you know it, Tommy's phone was ringing off the hook. His failed experiment had graduated thing, to cult phenomenon. Leaning into where the winds were now blowing, Tommy also started to frame the room as a dark comedy, despite his previous insistence that it was serious Oscar-winning material. Okay, this I don't know about Oscar-winning. can best be described as... Tommy was so, he was like, oh, it's a dark comedy. Bollocks. Bollocks. M. Night. <laughs> with his newfound this notoriety, Tommy then burned like... through a number of different projects with various levels of success, like the short-lived Hulu sitcom The Neighbors and an even shorter-lived web show, shorter as well lived... as appearances in films like Samurai Cop 2, which is awful, do not watch it. However, oh, oh, with okay. the success of 2017's The Disaster Artist, based on Greg's book, the room reached even Greg's bigger book. levels yeah. of infamy and went on to theatrical tours across the globe. Globe, so he actually did, did he actually get a theater clad oh, no. football tossing fans 
With COVID hamstringing much okay. of the movie industry, Tommy's next big project, oh. Big Shark, which was teased wow. in 2019, was then delayed to a nebulous that, that's 2021. So fingers okay, crossed fine. on that. Oh, did that come out? Oh, is this video? Did very well getting Why the does he look like Matthew McConaughey? To film, eagle-eyed viewers His face? might have spotted him in a small <laughs> role in the recent The Haunting of Bly Manor on Netflix. I know Bly I did. Bly Manor? There's still a few mysterious mysteries begging that watch to be is solved. Massive. Along with his pre-The Room fortune, many have speculated over Tommy's roots. And while he maintains he is from Louisiana, that's something that literally everyone still scoffs at. The documentary, Room Full of Spoons, puts forward the theory that he is actually from Poznan, Poland, but this has never been confirmed or denied I mean, by would Tommy that explain, himself. like, the accent However, or something? However, one funny dead giveaway is... Which is a specific Polish slang for oh. mimicking a chicken. Oh. The room was definitely close to being one so of those why thousands of obscure act as if he's from Louisiana if he's not or doesn't seem like I history. But why does it matter if he's from Louisiana or not? You want to call he it, might be. I don't know. To capture the imaginations of fans the world over. This is, of course, despite all that it had going against it. Its conception, its filming. To think that there's like YouTube out there Everything that can it. like I, I shouldn't even be just make an amazing right story now, but on a fraction of the cost of passion best in a 2014 like, interview Alan Becker Blackness, you know just some examples top of my head in America look at how many young people you've been young I mean we still young whatever going to the street you know walking out on the street nothing to do go see the room have fun let's assume Dude, you don't I'd be see cool if the, the billboard was still up have the room you walk out on the street grab the rock and by accident you hit somebody you know accident happened huh? get him arrested get who arrested the person hit by the rock instead you see you the room so high probability crime high probability you know what i'm saying that's a very good impression oh i totally get what you're saying tom i think i think everyone here does if you know of any other fantabulous film failures let me know in the comments below. i might do devil may cry next because i'm playing through those games right now flying vampire car over to the flophouse vip patreon and become a big boss to nominate what you'd like to see next that's fair see you next time and this thanks is great for watching. this was great i have Hi, some doggy you're my favorite customer thanks uh. a lot bye the research by samantha scorch edited by jason ruth wolf Oh, here's the footage. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I don't want the audio to be copyrighted after the fact. Um, yeah, I also know not a single thing about Hamilton. Apparently, it's actually about what Alexander Hamilton, who's kind of the dude that set up the U.S. Treasury back in the day. But then it got turned into a Broadway musical, which I... Well, did it didn't like turn into a Disney movie or something like that. I don't know. It's really popular. It's a musical, and I don't know how in the world Alexander Hamilton did that. Also, what? Oh, the kid Lori is right down there. Also, the song by Ian Dewar has been amazing. Charlotte's Web. Okay. Um, I think I was actually just talking about Charlotte's Web the other day, and I was like, you mean like the itsy bitsy spider? Uh, apparently, different things. But this was the room. Next might be Devil May Cry. As I'm playing through that franchise right now, I just finished up Devil May Cry one uh, this past Saturday. But this video is coming live on a Monday, so I just did it not too long ago, the defeated Mundus, that was certainly a fight, and finished the last minute, you should definitely go check, it's on the gaming channel, uh, just the intro from that, the final mission took me 9 minutes and 11 seconds, uh, you're escaping the building that is collapsing in a plane, and it took me, and the game came out, I think August or September 2001, and it took me 9 minutes and 11 seconds to finish it, so I just need to point that out to more people because i know more people will see this than will watch that video yeah uh i should be streaming on saturdays i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know the next what happened video should be i do read every single your comments leave some down below also likes are super important actually to help people spread uh the videos around the channel it would help out me probably also help out matt as well because the top link down below description is the original video i know i talk a lot but you can watch his video where it's just him talking but like i said hope you have one of us today hopefully I made it a tiny little bit better but until next video take care and kitty music We're playing.